Hello, Goranges are on view this time for our sale on the 5th of December. Blimey, Christmas is looming. Saw a Christmas tree in an office the other day. I thought, Blimey, <laughs> that's a bit early, but there we go. Uh, anyway, what have we got in the sale for you? We thought we'd have a wander around the warehouse. We do spend quite a lot of time looking at the smalls. Perhaps this time we'll have a knock about here and see what we've got. Starting with lot 33. Look at this. Got a modestly sized little table and four chairs. They're nice, aren't they? And I think this is like Urkel, I would say. It's stamped underneath um, with the uh, 1960 slash 2056. Not quite sure what those numbers mean, but there we are. Nicely made. Look at that, those stretchers with the, yeah. the twin stretcher interlaced. And then this nice interlaced back. There's sort of quality in the making of that. And one can understand why it now is gathering more value and more people are liking them because it's, you know, it's not disposable furniture. It's very well made and, it, and you can restore it, you know, where these top rails are bleached and what have you, you can, you can get it recolored up and what have you. So um, there we go, lot 33. How about a whopping great sideboard? It's huge, isn't it? It is big, lot 193. Um, this I'm, is... I'm going back so I can get it in the camera. Yes, keep going back. So, <laughs> to all eyes and appearances, this looks like a George III sideboard, but actually, looking at the drawer, this is not. This is nearer the Edwardian era in the Georgian style. And what's giving it away, to some extent, is proportions, sizes of handles and things how the handles are fitted, how those dovetails are done. Those are machine cut by the looks of things. So it's very nice quality. It's well made because things still were in those days uh, and lots of it with a nice brass rail back. Mm. So if you have a big space, then there's a perfectly good big sideboard for you. There's Carry a, on. a yes? pretty ca candelabra or whatever. It's a what hanging call it? light hanging... fitting. But is it for lights? Is yeah, it? that would hang from the ceiling. And uh, here's the chains. For... Well, it's for candles. Candles, yeah. Candles. Quite it's nice for though, more than it? four candles. It's for something like 10. 20. Um, so yes, there's a, there's a light fitting. Pine, quite a decorative pine bookcase here. Probably once painted, been stripped back, lot 183. If it's a bit fancy for your taste, then how about something more restrained? Lot 182, this is the Educational Supply Association Limited from Holborn Viaduct, provided this. I would have thought round about 1900 or thereabouts. And uh, yeah, open it up, you've got Fixed shelves, not adjustable, fixed shelves, and then these little pigeonholes below, cupboard below that, nice plain pine, pleasingly panelled with these little chamfered edges. So that's kind of fun, 182. Bit of lead, 118. <laughs> Needs some work, it's splitting at the sides as lead is prone to, um, but that could be repaired up. Bit of a lump to lug around. Pairs, we talked about pairs, didn't we, when we were looking yes, at... Yes, that's yeah. in two of, not... P A I R. Not apples and pears. <laughs> uh, so, pears, quite a few pears in the cell, we decided. Got 126, a pair of sort of Victorian um, bedside chests in mahogany. Very clean, been repolished, ready to go. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, possibly nice adapted from, um, from a dressing table or desk or something like that. You know, mm. people take the, the pedestals from pedestal desks because bedside tables actually seem to be more popular these days than chests and uh, desks and the like. Uh, I like the obelisk. Oh, yeah. It's a small one, it's not 123, but it's potent. <laughs> more pairs round here. How about a pair of arched bookcases? Yes. Full of metalware. Uh, lot 14 by the looks of things. Or a pair of painted probably pine under there i think could be oak perhaps oak lot 62 pair of painted sort of window type seat benches or lot 11 another pair of unfinished timber seats or chimney pots these i guess they're chim i'm not sure if they're chimney pots or right. just sort of ornamental finials but they're they're lumpy and they're lot eight or a pair of lions or a pair of large um carved oak glass inset things, room dividers perhaps, lot seven. So we're made of pairs in this cell. Yes, yes. Yes. Go on, she you says. go around. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse us. Right, okay. So heading down the line, what else can we see? Pine desks, pair of wall brackets. How about those? Those are very small. Lot 20. There we are. Nice finish, nicely mm. done. Very nice. Weathered on the top. Few of those, lovely. Uh, oh, those That's aren't in. Don't yes. focus on those. Yeah, those were lot twenty. Pair of altar sticks. 
in the sort of gothic style, not particularly old, lot 22, but nice and shiny, with the candles included. Still got some garden furniture, though we are seeing the prices slacken off as the weather, um, as it just doesn't stop raining when it wants to go outside. <laughs> That's very true. Um, nice uh, coat of arms there in reconstituted stone, lot 25. Did have something in the middle there at one time, but um, still a little bit unusual. Pair of garden urns, fire screens, lamp standards, dressing tables. It's fantastic you're saying this, but you haven't said any lots and you're going really quickly. Can you slow down, Lot 32. <laughs> Lot 32, I can't get into because the key's in the drawer somewhere. But oh, that's no, a nice oak pretty. press cupboard in nice clean condition, locked shut. Another pair. Chests, these did not sell. Why did they not sell? Well, the estimate was seven to nine hundred, which seems bold, Quite. I would say. They are um, continental, probably French, not of great age, and got some age, but not lots of age. Um, and they're... so I suspect, and they're an unusual size, they're a bit too big for bedside, so I think that was too much money. And if they come back in at a lower figure, mm. we should get those away. But we shall see what it appears, because we've talked about estimates in the past and they, they vary, don't they, for different reasons. I'm sort of trying to walk backwards, talk to the camera and look at what's in the cell. Gosh, you're multitasking. Tractor seat stools, pair of, pair of metal, Tables, really lot 42. It really is yes. the pairs week. And then yeah. you've got a pair of mannequins over Oh yeah, there. you want to talk about mannequins. So heading down here without tripping over the, hop, wow. the pair of hoppers. Yeah. Is that have. what they're called, hoppers? Yes, mm. they catch your downpipe stuff. Lot yes. 100, a pair of, I think they're a pair, we'll check. There might be individual lots. Mannequins, um, unusual sort of crackle glazed finish to the heads, but they've got a nice look to them. I Adjustable know. bases, telescopic bases. They, they are a pair, but they're being sold separately. So 102, watch out for the pins. Lot 100, lot 102, 101 in the middle. Should you require a massive, great thing? What is it? Well, it came from a film prop company, oh. as some of these things have been. Yes. So therefore, it it's not necessarily really for practical use. It does lift up. So you could put your, you could sleep in there. It's nice to padded. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Mocker could. So there we go, lot 101. There's a, there's a, I like the trunk over the back there. Yes, that's 167. 167. It's got mm. pleasing proportions. A little it is bit really unusual, nice. isn't it? I yeah. like the extra height. Yes. Pair of tables. Pair of tables. Pair of mother dummies. A, a really nice um, collector's cabinet there, which is labels for um, entomological specimens. Lot 171, it's a good looker, isn't it? It is a great looker. Not too big, not too wide. Pair of elephant lamps pair on top. Pair of elephants, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you liked this table, didn't you? I did like that table. It's I mean, very these, pretty. These, these, these are not uncommon, but here's a, a particularly good example in terms of this pierced work is, is in really, appears to be in really good condition and it's a bit finer than usual. Mm. There's a little bit of brass popping on the top, okay. unfortunately. That's lot 152. And they're not the most useful of things, of course, because it's all carved up. Yeah. You can only put a sort of glass on the inside of the yeah. carving. But still, it's, it's, as they go, it's a good example. So the warehouse is full of good examples and pairs and things like rustic tables here. This is quite nice. The stretcher, this is a Spanish style. Why do we say that? Well, because it's got this type of stretcher, this metal stretcher here that would, ah, that's, okay. that's broken. It needs its um, joints repairing. Right. But um, typically Spanish style, but got a nice color and look to it. It's lot 110, that is. Uh, it's not a pair, it's on its own. Um, so yes, useful things. It's sometimes you come to nice. the warehouse yeah. and you think, oh, it's a bit dull, but this one has got a good, variety of things to look at and another pair behind you <laughs> sorry it's a pair of everything there these is are, a pair of these everything. are pricket candlesticks look are they so you see there's a pricket goodness there. me that's going to the be a pricket, whopping candle yeah that's a, and they're cast iron so they're, they're not going anywhere they are in a great hurry. aren't they you're going to need a nice big whopping candle for them they are lot one two nine great fun. so that just sums it all up we we're going to have a little poke about the smalls but i hope you enjoyed the warehouse <laughs> okay, here we are in with the smalls. I'm just going to give you a little flavour of the variety. Lot 302, look at that. Aesthetic movement mantel clock. It's um, marked up inside. 
I can't quite read it, but we would have done it. It looks a bit like Bermontoffs, actually, um, in that sort of chinoiserie aesthetic form. A little bit unusual there. Over here, how about some Christmas is Coming, lot 267. Uh, I think this is Waterford, and it's John Rosher designed these for Waterford. That's quite a few of those, So aren't you've they? got the flutes, you haven't got so many glasses, you've got a carafe, and you've got six tumblers. Nice Very little nice. lot there. Yep. 269, oh, some ships. Fun, Safety lights or down lamps, pair of, got 269. Japanese woodblock prints, lot 727. Huh. Nice bold colours, mm. clear design. A watch holder to put your pocket watch in. No. Designed as a church steeple, lot 271. You've got a, a section at the top to uh, put bits and pieces. Yeah. You've got a side drawer. And wow. there's a door, a door at the back. So Victorian, what, 271, kind That's of fun. Brilliant. Uh, a Yoruba pulley, a, I would say WMF, might not, it might be someone else, but either way, secessionist design, Art Nouveau design, cuter dish, 275. Yeah, this is going to be Clara's Cliff, hasn't it? Let's find out. <gasps> yes, it's, it's a re, it's, it's a Wedgwood reissuing Claris Cliff designs right. with some certificates there. And that is lot number 259. So you've got the eight coffee cans and saucers with the pot. They're quite fun, aren't they? Yeah, they're fun, aren't they? It's yeah, a lovely Christmas well, idea, well, isn't again, it? Good designs. Yes. Oh, watch your back. Oh, gosh, look, uh, there's yes, tons of don't wine. Fall over the wine. This, I thought this was sweet. Oh, that's so lot nice. 707. Um, the artist is called Minor. His surname is Minor, M I N O R, an American painter. Um, when I saw it, I just thought it was a sort of copy of a Quaro or something. He's actually Robert Minor. Lovely and, uh, frame as but well. But he exhibited in London sort of around about 1880, just briefly for a few years. But really nice set, isn't it? Yeah. Got a nice look to it. It is signed. It's all 100% authentic. So nice. yeah. A few little lines of damage, but yeah, pretty little thing. Again, nice Christmas idea, as is lot 708. If you're into your hunting, yes. there goes a little frame stretcher. Just sort of what date is that? I suppose it's 1840, 1850. Um, <laughs> He's painted on canvas. Expression. He's got a great expression, hasn't oh, he? Oh no, I've got another hedge to jump. <laughs> Yes, it does look a bit like he that, does, doesn't yeah. it? He's, he's getting on with it. I'm going to put this little stretcher back to keep the frame. Um, Have you got a lot number for that, did you say? Oh, always got a lot number, uh, he said. It's lot uh, 708. Oh, thank you. Great. No frame for it, just that. So, there we go, a little taster of the smalls. When yes. We get around here, we're going to have a look at some jewellery. Yes. So it's jewellery focus week this week, and here we are in the land of jewellery, and what has Roger made? Well, here's an interesting selection, so we're just going to give you some flavours of these things. Lot 952. That what is, is that? Well, it's a Scottish hardstone or agate brooch, right. modelled as a claymore, obviously the um, synonymous with, with the Scottish um, culture and history and what have you. It's George V. It's nine, uh, it's George V, it's in silver, it is fully hallmarked, which is nice, and not all of these are hallmarked, and it's a good size. Yeah. And with it, in the lot, you get a pair of nine carat gold drop They're earrings. Pretty. Really pretty, aren't yeah. they? Nice condition, stupid estimate on it, of 50 to 70 pounds. Wow. I mean, that's a good 50 to 70, it's probably more like 100. And then I think those have got to be getting on for 100 because they're so nice. So, you know, it's more like That's a two a nice to 300 pound lot, but it's a nice lot. And yeah. at least it's not in at 500, which it wouldn't sell, you know, so it's, at least it's under, not over. Yes. 942, look at that. Yes, Sweet pretty. little ring, it's, not big. It's small. It's 18 karat gold. Yes. Its estimate is 150 to 200, reflecting the fact that it is both small in size and modest in diamond pretty contact, good. but pretty. Yeah. 956, how about these for some cufflinks? Another Goodness. nice Christmas idea. Yeah. These are 1897 South African ponds or pounds. Mm -hmm. In gold, they'll be, you know, high, they're, they're almost pure. I think they're sort of 22 plus, a bit like a sovereign essentially, but with the um, lower grade um, gold chains and what have you mounting onto them estimate three to four hundred great great fun. fun yes more cufflinks now these are my favorite eight seven seven yeah uh nicely done set with sapphires and diamonds yellow gold um, it, it's a lovely tarnished gold isn't it yes it's got a nice look mm. to it nice matted color as you say tarnished slightly yeah um High carat, Rod says, they're not marked as to which carat, probably sort of 15 to 18 carat. Right. Uh, estimate 150 to 200. Yeah, they're lovely. A very modest little Omega here. It's diddy, isn't it? A desirable make still. Mm. Um, 
the older they are, the smaller watches are. And then as time goes by, they get bigger until we have these whopping great things the size of dustbin lids on our wrists now. But um, yes. this hasn't been aged, but I guess it's got to be sort of 50s or thereabouts. It is lot 958. It's just in the 80 to 120. Uh, does it go, we yeah, ask? Yeah, I was wondering that. Yeah, it's going. It's not guaranteed as always going to go forever, but it's ticking away. You can see that's... Uh, it moved. I swear it moved. <laughs> uh, give it a shake. Yeah, give it a shake. I, I think the technical expression for this is it ticks then stops, which means it's not completely seized, but it will need attention. Okay. Pretty little thing, nice it dial. Pretty, yeah. Next to that, What's 931. This? What is this? Comes in a posh box oh. that says Bermuda. So we open it up. Inside you get a certificate and it tells you that you have a $15 0.999% pure fine gold commemorative medallion or coin oh, gosh, right. uh, issued by the Royal Mint, no less. So this is a kind of a way of buying um, gold, but with 100% sort of certainty of exactly what carat you're getting and what weight. And, and so it's a sort of nice way of, of having it you the, the fact that it commemorates the tall ships of year 2000 is it does not really make much difference you, you're sort of buying gold but you're you're buying it sort of nicely packaged pretty, and assured not 931 mm. 944 now this is rather something nice. else how yeah. about this ladies cartier santos automatic. automatic yeah automatic so is it going focus in. you're focusing in yep don't get too close let's see what's the answer with the focusini Oh, yes. Right, let's give it a shake. That technical way of getting an automatic watch to work. Mm. I'm assuming that is the second's hand there. It looks like the second's hand. Well, I'm going to have to give it, send it back to Roger. Yeah, there we go. It just needed a bit more pumping. So now that it's got its automatic thumper inside, it's usually a thumper, it's the thing that sort of swings around on the movement, and it, you're looking at me with an expression. <laughs> You give your thumper a thawing, you get your watch going. And then you get more pumping. Yes, and so there we go. 944, nice ladies, automatic Cartier in steel, which I'm told is much more fashionable than yellow gold uh, and steel. And it's in at 12 to 1500 pounds. Uh, doesn't have a Cartier box or certificate. This is what you get, but it's That's going. It's got nice a nice blue Christmas cabochon. Present. It's it's in looks to be in very nice clean condition. So there's a good thing. Great. Uh, we're heading back up the other way, 894. Okay. Here's something else, collectible memorial jewellery. Uh, this one is quite late, actually. It's Edwardian, because um, it's very much the sort of Victorian taste. Diamond set, black enamel, couple of nicks to the enamel. Um, it is marked up as 18 karat gold with a nice set of hallmarks. And then it has an inscription within the shank saying, sacred to the memory of my beloved husband. Aww. So there we go, memorial ring. Um, estimate, didn't look up the estimate. We'll have it online. Um, probably around about two, three hundred pounds or so, maybe a little more. Um, at, perhaps at the lower end of memorial rings in terms that it's not as early as others, um, but it's nice it's got the diamonds and the inscription helps. Mm. Further, another watch, the last watch I'm gonna show you today, lot 915 is a Rolex, so the magic brand, um, magically popular. This one's 1920s, it's nine karat gold, but it's a bit poorly. Yes. So look at this sort of these, these discoloration stainings on the case where it's had old solder repairs, probably to the lugs. It's got some damage to the dial down the bottom here. Some sort of crunch has happened to it. Um, is it going? It's got quite a pleasing face. And the movement is seized. You. Thank you, how kind. The movement is seized, but it can all be done. And because it's Rolex, people will bother doing it. There we go, nice monogram on the back with the oh, date. Isn't it? That's the best bit. So it'd be quite nice to get that up and running. Nice little project there. And, and the estimate is sensibly reflects that at two to three hundred pounds. So it leaves you the spare change to get that sorted. Oh, there's Michelle. Haha, <laughs> 929. Uh, 929, this is an 18 karat gold, Astwood Dickinson, no less. Mm. Scallop shell pendant. Now I've got a theory yes. that these are, the scallop shell is something to do with the pilgrim, doing the pilgrimage to compete. Testo, com, com, potato of uh, Santiago, <laughs> Spain. I'm sure the scallop is something to do with the pilgrimage. I so I don't know whether this has any connection to that, but it's quite nicely made. It's 18 karat gold. It is of reasonable weight and it's in at 150 to 250. Mm -hmm. Finally, oh, last of all, there's plenty of other jewellery, but last of all, how about that? That's very pretty, isn't it's it? Lovely. That is an Edwardian 15 karat gold pendant necklace. 
um, set with, I guess those are peridots and pearls and perhaps a synthetic ruby. It's looking a bit too red to be true. Um, really nice condition. Yeah. Pretty thing. Wearable, pretty. I would guess. Mm. But 891, estimate three to 500. So yeah, there we go. Lovely. Good selection of jewellery for you. Lots of other goodies in the sale. Nice big sale. The following one's going to be even bigger. Oh, gosh. But uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a whopper, this one already. Uh, a great one to come and look at. And as we've said, lots of Christmas presents. So thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the auction.